Check this out. This is a lake here in uh, Sarsborg. Tundavayan, they call it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, just for a change. And this is absolutely phenomenal. And literally we're walking on frozen ice. Look at that. But look how deep that goes. I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. Norway is a beautiful country, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm here with, uh, what happened to Monica Andersen. Monica Andersen. Um, for you guys that are that will be watching my channel, you know you've been watching for a while. Check this out. This is what's going on right now, okay? This is th this lake here. Uh, it's in the city of Sarsborg where I live. She's about to go in there. <laughs> okay, Monica, um, can you can you explain uh, what for you do that? Why why are you doing this? Why are you going in in the ice? Det er mange grunner, men den største grunnen er nok at det på en måte blir en sånn greie. Altså det er noe man mester. Det er ubehagelig, men man mester. Man mester å få kontroll over kroppen, selv om det er ubehagelig. Og selv om kroppen egentlig bare vil ut av vannet, så klarer man å overstyre instinktene, og det liker jeg. Ok. Basically what she said is that there is belief that there are health benefits to this, to this type of thing. And I know you guys have seen this in northern also in Russia and Siberia and northern Norway where people go into the ice. Um, well, she's about to engage in that journey. I'm not going to film as she's going down, but I am going to film it when she's already in the water. All right. Okay. She's in the water <laughs> and look at all that ice. Oh my gosh. Uh, she's going to be in the water for three minutes. Three minutes. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here, and when she is ready to come out, I'm not gonna film her coming out, but when she's ready, um, just take my word for it. It's been three minutes. Okay, we're looking at the time on her wrist, and that has, uh, yep, yeah, it's going to it's going to three minutes now, and she's been under the water that long. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here now because she's about to come up. What's going on, fellas? All right, so um, a lot of you may have heard that there's some issues now going on again with the NVIDIA power connector, the, what is it called, 16-pin power connector, whatever. Uh, I'm testing my 7900 XTX. Uh, we're using, let's see here, uh, for the furball. And this has been running now for about five minutes, or no, less than that. But you can see that the temperatures are temperatures are okay. They're not um, out of control, right? But what we're going to be looking at today is those three pin power connectors. Now, these are not the uh, the new power connector by Nvidia. This is just a regular eight pin setup. There's three of them. Now, keep in mind, each one of these eight pin can supply up to 150 watts okay so uh, realistic well yeah so we have 300 watts by two uh, plus you know 150 so 450 watts that we can get out of this setup out of a three and a three power connector and right now we are consuming 375 okay so you can tell there by the board power draw so 375 total now Let's look at these pins or, or these wires, this band of wires through our thermal camera to see if there's any um, anything funny going on, like anything getting hot. And there's a point behind this and uh, I'm gonna get to it here in a minute. But first, let's take a look through the thermal camera. Okay, now I have to apologize for the sound quality. I know it sounds like trash because for some reason the microphone goes bad. It just, yeah, it turns like trash here whenever I recorded with this but anyway um, right now where the triangle is that is where I am aiming okay so you can see the uh, this is a band here okay of power let's get a little bit closer 
And as you can see, nothing getting too hot, nothing overheating, everything looks perfect. But apparently this was not enough for NVIDIA. They wanted to screw it up by uh, changing things that did not need to be changed. All right, let's take a look at the uh, 4090 now. We're going to be testing it with the Furball. Okay, and there you have it. Sensors are looking good. All right. Let's get the fur ball going here, right here. I think that would be perfect. Okay. Now, let's watch what happens here with these pins, with, with these cables, as far as temperature goes. All right, guys. And here we are with the 4090. And as you can see there, we are experiencing problems with that cable there, getting pretty hot. If I back off, you can even see it from here. And as I go and look at the back, you can see it there even better. Now, yes, there's hot air right now. Uh, you know, blazing up against that power connector. But even if I back off of it, you can still see the the one cable there, 12 volts, that is getting hot. And this is why I don't really uh, use the 4090 that much, because I feel like I feel like at any point this thing is just going to start melting on me. And so yeah, it's a shame, really. You can see it from here. Well, there you have it. Um, I am I'm speechless. You know, I, I I don't know what to say. But um, it's not just a 5090 problem. This this problem here has been going on for a while, um, and that's why I don't use the 4090 really that much. I I feel like it was a waste of money. Great performance, excellent performance. But I think that Nvidia just really drop the ball on this one here uh, with that power connector and it doesn't matter whether you have the uh, this this one here it doesn't matter whether you're using the Nvidia provided you know adapter or if you're using straight from the power supply or if you're using a, a longer adapter it's still the same thing it's still that 12 volt cable heats up like that and uh, it makes me really 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 concerned but uh, yeah, just wanted to bring you guys this video because I know there's a lot of talk about this very problem right now with the 5090s. It's not just the 5090s, it's also the 4090s. And if it hasn't melted on you yet, consider yourself lucky. And I hope it doesn't happen to anyone. But uh, yeah, I'll leave the video here. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.